there's coming a last opportunity. Every human being in this world comes to a point in their life where it's going to be their last opportunity. Let me tell you a quick story, even though we're short of time. When I was in high school, I went to Annapolis High School. I developed a very good friend. I must be careful not to tell you all the details of the story. You don't have time to tell you all the details. This man was a, this man, his brother was this, in the general conference. He, he's been a Seventh-day Adventist in denominational work for many decades. He was a retirement age when this happened. I'm not gonna tell you all the details of the story. I don't wanna smear his reputation in your mind. But is it possible for people who have been Christians for a long time to have some kind of a stumbling block, some besetting sin that they can't seem to get over? Does that happen? Now, the same people, different people have different besetting sins. We must be very careful not to judge somebody else in the church because they have a besetting sin that we don't have. Because they can look at us and say, see a besetting sin that we have that they don't have. We need to be very careful about that and not judge each other. But this man had a besetting sin. I know what it was, but I'm not going to mention it. Most of the people didn't even know that he had this besetting sin. But he wasn't getting the victory over it. He just keep doing it. He went to church every week. He was praying every week. But my dear friends, it doesn't matter what your besetting sin is or what my besetting sin, God expects you and me to overcome those besetting sins. Does the Bible teach that? Read Hebrews 12. wasn't overcoming. I was in a state of shock when he told me. He didn't tell us everybody, but we were very good friends. Actually, he, he was renting, the place where he was rent, living, he was renting from my father. Very close to where we were living. I could walk over there. Here's what he said. When, I think it was in the afternoon. He was lying down and relaxing. That I saw an angel. And this angel spoke to him. And he called him by his first name. By the way, all your all the angels, they know your first name. You're not a number to them. He called him by his first name. And he said to him, This is your last chance. He's in a state of shock. And he decided dead now, but I believe I will see him in the kingdom of heaven. He decided he was not going to have anything to do with that anymore. That was a turning point in his life. My dear friends, every one of us at some point in time we have our last chance. What happens? What happens if you have the last chance and you don't take the last chance? Well, let's look at the seventh time. The seventh time that John sees a certain angel. Look at Revelation. 